Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Leno56 and welcome to episode 6 of our Alpha 5 playthrough. So in the last episode, we did finally get pr brick production up and running. We were able to make the distillery so we could start getting um, Herilica. So we can start getting um, some alcohol production going. We did manage to build a tavern and we've been increasing um, this little production area over here. What I would like to get done today is obviously get some more brick production so I can finish the brewery. I also want to start thinking about making some row houses. It's going to be a little bit before I get to the row houses, but I'm hoping to get it in uh, this episode. So first thing I'm going to do is pause this. We're going to move this family into this house over here. And I paused it mainly so no one would move in. So let's demolish this. Uh, I did relocate you, didn't I? Okay. Put on hold and demolish. Okay. There we go. So we're going to remove these benches here. And then once this house is demolished, we'll place two more houses in here. And then I'm going to, if I have enough brick, I'm going to place the row houses in this section right here. And eventually I'm going to remove these houses and just have row houses. And I plan on having row houses on each side and then having like a little um, courtyard or something in the middle. I think that'll look pretty good. But I'm very excited to actually uh, just have brick in general. <laughs> I also, what I want to do is build another farm. Because I really like this. I kind of want to balance this out a little, a little bit better though. So let's see... Because I have two hemp, three potatoes, three hemp, I have four hemp. I have one sunflower. Can I re replace one of these hemp with a sunflower? Let's see, because barley, unfortunately, I could do hemp, I could do sunflower and buckwheat, which, all right, so I, do, I have two sunflowers. But I have four hemp. You really don't need four hemp. What do potatoes do? 50. It'd have to be either flax. No, the only thing I can really go with is buckwheat. Alright, I have four potatoes. I don't really need four potatoes. I can turn one of these... Sunflower, sunflower. Let's turn one of these uh, buckwheats into sun. Yeah, so we'll do sunflower and then buckwheat. We'll do it like that. Because I want to have at least a sunflower every year. One. That's four. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so that'll work. I have ten fields, so it's going to be four, uh, three fallows for two years, and then four fallows for one year is how, is how that's going to work out. But I should have a sunflower field every year now because I definitely want to keep my uh, sunflower oil production up and running. But I would like to get another farm. You know, one easy thing I could do to just fix this whole issue would just to be have 14 fields and then just switch between them every year. That'd be one way to do it. All right, so we do have some more uh, alcohol coming in. You made 14 last month. I'm not going to tax the tavern yet until I see how much they actually make. But what I am thinking about doing is I can probably place a cart parking somewhere over here. It's going to look kind of bad if I do it right here. Yeah, we'll keep this uh, open for now. Alright, they are building an another granary, so let's hire... You know what I have not been doing is this thing. I didn't do it with you either, did I? Nope, I did not. Okay. 
There we go. Um, and I definitely did not do it with you, but thankfully I can do that. Okay. So now they're going to build this other granary. Let's fill you guys up with people. Oh. What if I do, like, what if I do this? So cherries, I can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. And each of these can hold what ten? Yeah, I think each of these can hold 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 8. So we have 8, 16, 24. I would need one more to hit the 32, and then I could have everything in here. Hmm. I mean, we can do that. That's okay. They're in the middle of building this one. If these guys can hold eight, how many can the big granaries hold? The resources which are already stored in nearby granaries will not be added to the list. Okay, so this is far enough away where, where it just starts a brand new list then. That's kind of cool. There we go. Alrighty. Just a few more houses to build. I'm going to let uh, these actually go away so then my people can actually cut down some of these trees and these roads. Because I'd like to get some of those removed. But first things first, I want them to demolish uh, this house here. Like how this is a random road right here. That's kind of that's kind of funny. Also, where are our sheep at? The nice thing is that we do have some wool coming in, and we are we have broadcloth, so we should be making some warm clothing too. Oh no, sheep's. We need sheep skin. Okay, it's gonna be a while before we get sheep skin. Just because uh, I don't want to slaughter any sheep. However, and you're not selling sheep, so maybe when sheep come in, I'll, I'll buy some more sheep. But in the meantime, I'm just waiting for this house to get destroyed. Yeah, I also wanted to delete that tree too. Yeah, I really just need these trees to stop and then I can delete some of these trees in here. How's this little market doing? I think I I think this is fully employed. Yeah, which is nice. And I have boot I have shoes. This is good. I was struggling with shoes there for a little bit, mainly because I did have a family leave because of shoes, but haven't had a family move out in quite a while. Well, I think I had one move out last episode, but it was towards the beginning, so. And then how are bricks? Yeah, we have 10,000 bricks, so. 
that is getting me thinking. I could start up a row house here pretty soon. I just need to figure out how I want to do this. Because if I... I'm going to start off with this smaller row house, I think. I don't really know if I need... I mean, it doesn't really hurt. I could place one with an entrance like that. Because I think what I want to do is place a row house, place four row houses here, place four more on this side, and have a courtyard in the middle. Because if I, I don't think I can hit five row houses. Two. Yeah, no, I I can't hit five. I I think the only thing I can really do is four row houses. So I'd have to do one here, 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 and here. I'm just trying to think how I should lay this out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I have plenty of brick to start uh, a row house, which is nice. Alright, so that's complete. Let's build another one of these houses right here. That looks pretty good. Alright, we'll move you up so they build you first. Actually, let's put you on pause, because I want them to collect those resources yet. Let's do that, just so they don't actually do anything. And then I'm going to do this fence like that. Let's place this house over here. I need a smaller house. I still need a smaller house. There we go. This one will work. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, now... Let's do that. Let's demolish you. Let's place you here. Oh, they're already building a house right there. That's kind of nice. Alright, so we'll do this. Okay. And while we're waiting, we're going to place a small arch roughly in the middle here. And then we're going to try to... I'm trying to center this as much as I can. Okay, we'll delete this fence, we'll delete this archway, and then we'll place an archway kind of right in the center here. We'll see how that turned out. Oh yeah, that looks good. And we'll delete these two tiny fences, and then we'll just wait for these houses to get built. Yeah, but I want to build a row house probably right here. And I'm trying to think because... Hmm. There's 40 products that you can sell on the market. I believe each of the row houses with the stores can hold up to 8, um, eight items. Or eight different items, I should say. So I really only need five. I guess it doesn't really matter which way I do it. Like, I could have two here, three here, three here, two here. I would like to have a uh, an arch... Like one here, an arch here, like that. Because I don't know if I want the archways to be the only way in here, or if I want like 
these little archways to go into the courtyard or how I want to do that. I kind of wish there were like stone fences now because of these uh, row houses. Also, why aren't you guys actually planning anything? All right, we have another house complete. And now they'll start on these two houses here. And these guys have a lot of trees to cut down. The nice thing is I'm going to have a really, really nice supply of wood for a while. You guys are out of money. I mean, you only make 25 cents per month, but that should be enough to buy stuff. Maybe. But then again, when you sell stuff, you'll make quite a bit of money too, so. Okay. Ooh, they're making money. Sort of. They're actually losing money, but they're buying a bunch of stuff, so. They should start making money more here. You guys are out of food. Oh no. I have a question. This daughter's 26 years old. This mom is 33. Which means that that's a seven year difference here. Um, that is not okay at all. Yeah, so there's a seven year difference between this daughter and this mom. Unless this daughter was part of this, like a step, like, unless it's her stepdaughter. But I don't think that's the case here. Um, you should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Yeah, that's there's something going on there. That's not okay. <laughs> Unless that's supposed to be 16, but she is in a separate house, married. Well, even this guy, look at. His mom is 30 and he's 24, so she was six years old when she had, wow. That's an interesting turn of events. Okay. Uh, oh, geez. We have a lot of hops in here. Can we sell hops? Ooh, we have our house going up. All right, so I'm going to start decorating these areas while I'm waiting because I'm just basically waiting for trees and stuff to get felled now. So let's do a lilac bush. do lilac we'll do a lilac up here and then we'll do another lilac um, and let's do another lilac right here and we'll do another one like right here Okay, those are the lilac bushes. Let's do a one of these rose bushes. We'll do one right here. We'll do another one here. Let's see. One here. We'll do another one right here. And then the rest of them are going to be these these ones, these dog rose ones. That's going to look nice. All right, and then we'll place some benches out here. Make it look all nice. Place a bench here. We'll place another one here. 
place one there, we'll place another one up here. Let's see. Let's place a little gazebo like right here maybe. Place a gazebo there, we'll place a little seating area. And then I think we'll just have like an apple tree or, or something over here, like a little, uh... Well, let's have a, a couple apple trees. Let's do one in the middle. We'll do one here and we'll do another one like right here. There we go. That'll look good. God, imagine how nice this area would smell with all these flowers and stuff. I hope you don't have allergies. <laughs> okay. So we have a couple more houses over here that we need to build. Let's move this bench up here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you don't have anything I need. Uh, what was I looking to sell? They do buy beer. Um, I don't have any sunflower oil. I don't really have anything. Okay. Now I'm just kind of waiting for stuff to get done. I still don't know what I should place here. And this house is almost built. house is just about done and we are now done okay so let's place a couple more benches out here we'll just do one here and one up here that looks good alrighty and we should have a couple people moving in here pretty soon I think So now we're just waiting. Let's make these gazebos get built. And now we're just waiting for a bunch of trees to get to get cut down and stuff. You know what I could do? I, I'm going to put a couple of these houses just on hold for now. Let's see. Where's this one at? You're there. You're here. Let's pause you, we'll pause you, um, and we'll pause you for now. I just want to get to some of these trees cut down. And then I also want to think about the row houses and how I want to do this. So, I think for the row house... I might have to get one of these houses to build just to get one of these uh, families to move out. Pref I probably need to do two houses actually. I could just do all three if we're being honest here. Um, how do I want to do this though? I don't want to really cut down any more trees so let's place a couple more of these houses. I could place some more right here. Place one there. Place one there. I'm not going to place one here because of the trees. 
it's two, and I could place another one like right here. Like that. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll fence these areas off. It's so nice when the fences snap like that. It makes it so easy. Oh, come on. Really? No, go away. <laughs> All right, at least I can do one house here. All right, we'll do one like this. We'll move you up. Are they cutting these trees? I can't tell. Getting a wooden log to forestry. Chopping logs. I want to see. Oh, waiting for help to partner for getting. Chopping a tree. Alright, which tree are you guys going for? Please be one of the trees I marked. I think I did mark one of these trees, so they should. Okay. So they should be chopping these tr all the trees that I marked. That's good. Okay. We can grab a thousand wood at a time. That's crazy. Perfect. Let's build another house right here. Uneven terrain, uh oh. bad and then I just waiting for this for these logs to get thrown away or this wood to get thrown away and then I'll place the third house right here and I'm gonna place these guys on hold because I'm gonna move the families from these houses into these ones and then I'm gonna delete these and put row houses here and start on our row houses because I have 13,000 brick that's a lot 238 people. I need to actually start thinking about a barber surgery too because I think at 250 people is when your citizens start to actually get sick and stuff. Let's see, barber surgery acts as both a, as a housing and business for a family owning it. Barber surgeons' families will settle in a town with over 200 population. Check. Citizens will visit barber surgery for haircuts or medical treatment and spend their money there. Also, a barber surgeon will visit patients at their home. A barber surgery is a private business, so it doesn't bring money directly to the city treasury, but you can set a monthly tax. Okay. I have more than enough resources for it, too. You know what I should do is put it right next to the tavern. <laughs> Just because when people get sick, uh, they can go right next door to the hospital. <laughs> I could always put it over here. Probably not right there. Let's I think I want to place it over here. I don't know. Alright, so they are removing trees, so that's good. Come on, guys. Move this tiny little... You know, I'll just do it. Okay, we'll do this. Perfect. 
Okay. So once those houses are complete, I'll move those families over here and then start building the row houses. Because it's been nine years and I want a row house. Granted, we've done quite a bit in the nine years since we first settled. I also just realized that the river's flowing this way. You can't really tell which way the river's flowing. I always thought it was flowing the other way. That actually makes me wonder. If, it, if this was placed on this side, would that indicate that it was flowing this way then? Oh no, they just... change the way it looks. So if it's this... Oh, the dock just changed. Okay, that's kind of cool. I just noticed that. Okay, so these houses are going to be next. Okay, and I'm going to pause the game while I do this so no other families move in. Well, or do I want to wait until these, these crops are harvested? I'll wait till the crops are harvested. That's okay. Because then they can move uh, when winter hits. Buckwheat, barley, wheat. Okay. Kind of want to fix this or adjust and place four more fields and just have seven crops and then they're just rotating between fallow and uh, the crop itself. I have so much hay now. I love it. I was struggling quite a while for hay, but now I have just all the hay I could ever want. Okay, this is looking good. How's our little cemetery doing? This path actually does look kind of good. I would prefer like the gravel path, but not very many people uh, visit the cemetery anymore. Well, not a whole lot of people have actually died in, in our town. This one man is just working the iron mine like no one's business. Okay. This is looking good. Part of me wants to start expanding this way. Like along this coast here. I feel I, I do want to place a farm here, I think, and delete this stuff. And have another farm like this. But just over here. No, I could have a farm back here, too. That might look pretty good. Hmm. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm thinking about placing a farm right here, actually. Because I could try to lay this out a little bit. pretty even. We're going to pause these so the workers don't actually cut those trees down. And then what we're going to do is place a couple of these guys. And then we're going to delete this house and place a farm. 
I think, right like this. Except, all right, let's delete you. We'll delete you. And yeah, you guys can cut those trees down. That's fine. It's, it's only five trees. They have been cutting some of these trees down over here, so that's fine. And then I'm going to have another farm up here. You guys are all broke. Which I think is hilarious, because I think they're just broke because they're just buying a bunch of stuff. Okay. How are you guys looking? This house is almost done, and I'm going to put you on hold as well. Yeah, and when I, uh, in the last episode when I was streaming yesterday, for whatever reason, my stream cut out at about an hour and 21 minutes. So, yeah, uh, there was about 40 minutes there where the, I was recording, but it just wasn't actually streaming to Twitch. Uh, the video is on YouTube, though, but, yeah, I noticed I was like, there was some sort of connection issue. It was snowing really bad here, so I think that was a big part of it, but, yeah, it was kind of annoying. Okay, Heroic Buckwheat Sheepskin. I could use that, but I have sheep, and I just kind of want to wait until... Ooh, I have more sheep. I have six sheep now. Heck yeah. All right, one more house is... And then about two more months until these they harvest these crops. And then once the crops are harvested, I'll move these families out. Or I guess these families out. And then I'm going to lay out the row houses. Because I really want row houses. Before I do that, I'm actually going to do this and lay out this fence like this. I'm going to have a fence here. Yeah, let's place this fence as well, like that, because there's already a fence back here. And then how do I want to do this? I wonder if there's anything with a smaller like yellow footprint but a, a bigger green footprint if that makes any sort of sense ooh i could do some i could do it like this i need to figure out where i want to put that so i can lay this out cuz i want i think i want this row house Kind of be in the middle here, like this. It's kind of right next to this tree right here. So I think if I do it like that, and just not have you build, and then place this. That should allow me to get relatively uh, close to where these houses are located, so that should look okay. And this house is almost complete as well. And then you guys should harvest your stuff in a couple of months. Well, up in about a month. Okay. 
<laughs> we have so many hops now. I don't think we can sell hops, but I'm very excited to start making beer. Because I have barley and hops, both of which I need to make beer. I have a bunch of buckwheat, a little bit of broadcloth. I can't make warm clothing yet until I get sheepskin, but that's fine. They'll just keep making broadcloth. Once I get another messenger and I see sheep, I'm going to buy more sheep. Let's see, how many males do I have? I have two rams. I have three rams and three sheep. I don't. I need more actual sheep now. Oh, we just had another one. Sweet. Alright, and they're just about done making this house. This is looking good. We haven't... Alright, they... So we have one person working lime, but we're still... We need limestone. That's okay. How much stone is on the map? Alright, there's quite a bit of limestone still on the map. Let's see... I think we used up all the actual stone, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more stone anywhere on this one. Oh, wait, there's a little bit right here. Not a whole lot, though. A little bit there. All right, so there's a little bit of stone left. All right, so both, all these houses are built, so now we're just waiting for the harvest. Once the harvest is complete, I'll move these families out into these houses and then uh, build these row houses. But in the meantime, they can work on this farm. Because that's something else I want here and more uh, fields. I mean, we do have cows for days, which is nice. We have quite a few male cows, too. Or uh, bulls, male cows. <laughs> we have a lot. Holy cow. You know what I could do? Is I could do some plows. Because I have a bunch of ox. There we go. And let's order some plows. Because why not? You might as well if I can do it. It takes a little bit longer for them to uh, actually get the fields done. But you know, yes, supply for oxen. I might have made a mistake. Uh, hopefully, none of my ox will die. Okay, so we are getting wheat. Okay, we are getting water. Okay, good. So my ox should be fine. We are ra gathering hay. Okay, good. Yeah, I forgot to actually put supply for ox before I actually placed them in here. Oh, no. One of them died, didn't they? Dang it. Uh, let's do one of these guys. Okay, fine. <sighs> there we go. I had one cow die. That's fine. 18 and 17. 7. Okay. That's fine. We just need a little bit of thatch. 
Why aren't you selling sheep? I need sheep. Um, do we have sunflower oil? 436. Probably not enough to actually... 505. 525 shoes. How much for 525? 168. Only that's probably not worth it. Alright. Our town is looking really nice. September next month our people should harvest. I really want to build these row houses. I'm very excited. could do because I want to do a row house like this here row house like that here Was I putting it the wrong way? I was thinking it was going to be like this, wasn't I? I wonder if I place... If I do this, if I put that there, we'll pause it so they don't remove the tree. Um, and then if I place this row house, I, mean, I could technically do that. That really wouldn't look that bad. I'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Did you guys harvest? I believe they did harvest already. Okay. So now we're going to pause the game. I'm going to move these families out. Okay, and hold, hold, hold. Okay. Perfect. Move those families out so they can live in these houses and grow all sorts of fun crops. And now, when this farm's just about complete, it's gonna take a while for me to actually build the row houses, but what I'm gonna do is delete these guys. There we go. Move up front, move up front. There we go, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to have them work on these trees right here. Because they're not actually cutting down, down any of these trees, really. Okay. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm excited regardless. Thankfully, they destroy these houses extremely quick. I can't wait for these row houses. I'm so excited. Are there different um, houses for multiple families? I wish it would tell you how many families. Three floors. Like, how many, how many families is the three-floor families? Like... That's a huge row house. Yeah, 
Now that is a huge row house. <laughs> I can always uh, just mess with it. I, I think what I, I'm going to do is start with this tinier row house. I wonder if the dev is going to add, like, um, terrain modification so you can, like, level out the terrain and stuff. That'd actually be really nice, because certain areas, <clears throat> trading post, um, are just look really bad. And you have to be very careful when you place bridges and stuff, because it can, it can severely uh, deform the terrain. I don't know if they'll... Hopefully that makes them cut the trees down sooner. I don't know if it does, but... You guys are going to chop down a tree, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Where did you guys go? Okay. Now we're just waiting... I mean, technically, I guess I could, uh, oh, oops, I accidentally hit that every time. Too long. What if I do the row house like that? I mean, technically that could work. I don't know what am I my, what I'm more excited for: row houses or beer? Probably both. Sixty-nine hundred. And we have 17,000 brick. Heck yeah. We still have so much charcoal too. This is so nice. How's our iron looking? I haven't looked at our iron supply in quite a while. We have two iron. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I think we need more people working at the iron ore mine. I wish you could prioritize uh, where you want workers to work. That'd be nice and useful. And hire women only. Even though you guys don't actually have a field. And yes, yeah, supply for oxen, because we're eventually going to have oxen. Ooh, look at our plows. That's going to be, that, that's going to look so good. Alright, one more row house, or one more house. I could probably just delete these. Because I have more wood than I actually need. I'm going to make these empty though, because the nails are valuable. Trees are renewable. I mean, technically nails are renewable too, because I have infinite iron ore, but still. And you can trade it indefinitely for it too. But thankfully they actually pick up the nails. When you try to do it with wood, they just let it sit there forever. Okay, so let's figure this out. Row house. Okay, so I want to place a market. Probably right here somewhere. Let's 
place one right there, and let's place this row house. Because I want it to kind of be right in the middle here. I need them to actually remove this. Make empty for me, come on. Make empty, please. Sheep? No sheep. I'm gonna just, uh, I didn't wanna do that, but I did it, oh well. All right, so now let's place a row house. That's gonna look good. I mean, I hope that looks good. All right, and then we'll delete you and we'll place you. Because how, how much do I need? I need 6,900, 7,000, and 9,000, so 16,000. So I have enough for both. Um, let's build the row house first. I wanna build the row house first. Okay, uh, let's also, let's do a row house with the floor. So we'll do store. It doesn't really matter which way we do this. We could do a store here, a store here, and a store. We could do three stores here, and then I only need two stores on this side. We're going to delete you. Okay. row house and then we'll do another store row house over here and then one more over here And I can always turn these into bigger storehouse or bigger row houses too. There we go. Three, four. Well, that's gonna be a lot of uh <laughs> All right, this is gonna be exciting. I'm very excited for this. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to need so much stone. <laughs> Let's do some math. So I need 8,700 here. Interesting. Plus 7,500. Plus 8,300. Yeah, I need like 30,000 plus stone or uh, brick. That's okay, though. I do have quite a bit already stored up, so we should be fine. 
I'm just excited to build our first row house. This is going to be amazing. So yeah, we're going to have row houses on this side, like this, and then more row houses on this side, and then a courtyard in here. And I'll probably end up doing this cobblestone um, pavement, or the, the, this pavement on this courtyard. And I haven't decided if I'm just going to keep this fenced off completely, because I'm going to replace this fence. Or if I'm going to have entrances on both sides plus the entrances. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Whichever looks better. We should get this um, row house done this episode. I'm hoping. I mean, we're just gathering all the resources currently. In the meantime... I can start laying out these fields over here really quick. Six. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. That's how many I have over here is ten. I could place another row right here. So many. <laughs> That's going to be a huge farm over here. Okay. Now I have to actually uh, fence off this entire area. This is going to be fun. Uh, in excess. Dang it. Can I do it this way? Why? Why can't you just be easy? It's kind of getting a little laggy, actually.
There we go. Okay, so let's delete these guys. Okay, and we'll place some fields. selling messenger everything but sheep <laughs> um, I can sell some sunflower oil though I'll do that okay we'll do another place is occupied oh it is occupied because I snapped to the wrong one okay we'll do one more Alright, now I'm going to delete these fences. do I need? I need one, two, three. So let's do it doesn't really matter which way I do this, honestly. So I can do wheat and then fallow. So wheat fallow, fallow wheat. Wheat fallow, fallow wheat, okay. Activate and activate, and then you can be barley fallow, fallow and barley. Activate, activate. Buckwheat fallow. Fallow and buckwheat. Alright. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Village house is just chilling here. I don't know if I'm going to put one of these village houses here or one of these like bigger house. I'll probably fit a bigger house right here, I, uh, honestly. There we go. Okay. And let's continue. Holy cow. Oh. Oh. We completely missed the whole construction process of the row house. Four apartments. Holy cow. Okay, that is awesome. To be honest, I was so caught up with building the farm that I completely forgot that we were building a row house. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to build this one next. I need 8,300 brick for that guy. And we're actually going to watch this row house get built this time. So it's going to be a while before we can actually... Uh... I want to watch this building get built and then I want to watch that row house. So it's going to be a while before they collect all the resources, so I think I have some time. It actually kind of irritates me that I completely missed the construction process of that row house. Oops, that's okay though. 
That just means that we're gonna have to build another one. See, why does it work sometimes but not other times? I don't get that. And it's gonna work this way, isn't it? Sort of, it worked almost flawlessly. I don't get that. Like, I think he needs to work on the snapping system a little bit more. Perfect. That actually was a lot smoother than the first time, than the first one. All right. Are you guys, you're still collecting. You have so many resources to collect, holy cow. All right, so we'll delete you. You, you. Okay. And now let's add some more fields. So we have buckwheat, let's do sunflower, fallow, and then fallow, sunflower. Delete these fences, we'll delete these fences. And we'll delete that fence. Okay. So that was Sunflower. trees are destroyed a new family settling ooh Oh geez, we just got a whole mess of families in here. So on the plus side, we should have gotten a huge influx of workers. And then I think once all these row houses are built, I'm gonna like decorate the, the, um, the front of them and stuff. Oh heck yeah. And there's still so many resources to collect. So many resources. Okay, so this one will be flax. Flax fallow, okay. <laughs> and I don't really need anyone working at, the, at these fields right now. It's gonna be a while before I have enough. Oh, look at our plows go. Those cows turn on a dime, don't they? I think all plowing really does is it just restores the nutrients a little bit. That's that's literally it. This currently it's at a hundred well that doesn't help me. Wait, you can can fit through here. Huh. 
Huh, I don't know if I like that. Inaccessible. It should be inaccessible. There we go. Okay. There's still so many nails and so much wood to collect. How much? 4,700. Alright, so we do have actually a pretty good supply of bricks still. Uh, we need 8,300 brick for this guy. So we're halfway there already. Well, more than halfway. So we should be fine. By, by the time this finishes, I'm hoping we have enough brick for this row house here. Because I missed the first row house that we built. Because I was too focused on the farm. Which is actually slightly irritating because it would have been fun to actually watch this get built. But like I said, there's all we can always build another one. So we're gonna delete all these fences since I have the fields laid out. Delete, delete. And then once those fields get built, the fences will pop in there, and then all these fields should get ready to go. They're not actually going to do anything here because these fields need to get plowed first. Oh, this looks so good. Ooh, sheep. Yes. How many do I have? I have eight sheep. So I need what? Eight, I need 12 sheep. 420, I can afford 12 sheep. Right, 5, 8, 12, 20. Wait, how many sheep can I have total? I Oh, I can have 30. Well, let's buy, let's buy 12 of them. Let's do it. Because I, I don't need any more, sh like, rams. I just want more sheep. So we'll do that. Um, what else can I sell? Can I sell any sunflower oil? Nope, we don't have any in stock. I will have some in stock. I lo that looks so good. I just like the way a plowed field looks. That looks so nice. You know, I wish this gap was big enough for, uh... Oh my god, it is. Okay, not gonna lie, that looks amazing. Oh, that looks good. I can do that with these houses, I bet, too. Okay, let's... So I think that was the dog rose bush, right? Are they building this yet? I want to watch them build this. Ooh, alright, so everything's... Uh, collected. All right, let's watch them build the. Uh, is it the brewery? Yeah, the brewery. Since I completely missed the row house, I'm actually still mad about that. But we have one coming up, so we're gonna watch that one get built too. This is the first time I've ever built this building, so this is going to be fun to watch.
And I just put in every little beam in there, or uh, post. I wonder how long it took him to like to design all these buildings and stuff. There's so much detail. Also, where's this other guy's helpers? This guy's just doing this whole building solo. He's doing a great job. Are you gonna? Are you, are you actually gonna help your buddy? Nope. You're just gonna go in the distillery. Where are all the workers at? All right. So we have a few people coming in to help. There we go. Messenger. Wait. Weren't you just here? Oh yeah. Look at that. And here goes the brick. I love the way that they place the brick. That looks so good. And now they're doing the scaffolding. I think it's fitting to have the brewer and the distillery right next to each other. Oh yeah, now all the workers are here. <laughs> Look at them go. This is a huge building too. I'm actually going to turn down my music a little bit more. It's at 10. It was actually pretty loud in my uh, headset. Okay. Yeah, this building is huge. Look at the scaffolding going up. I really wish they would get rid of these trees. They're building more brick. I think the brick portion's just about done, yeah. All right, now they're just placing all the wood, and then this is going to be the roof. halfway done already too. Work. You think work would just be the whole thing here. Interesting. That is a huge roof. This is so much fun to watch build. We only need two two thousand more brick, and we'll be able to make the uh, the second row house. We're actually gonna have to be really careful with our population boost. I think we're fine on food and stuff, but I don't want to expand too quickly. This is looking great. I'm 
trying to see what they're doing. Oh, I, I see what they're doing. I think they should put a beam up here eventually. It is just about done. Yeah, it's almost done. This is a huge building. This is so much fun to watch. I wonder if there's going to be a bigger version of the town hall that you have to have brick and lime and all that stuff in order to build it. Cause they, you can technically add in more uh, multiple buildings of the for the same thing. Just you know, you need more and more resources in order to get some of the better buildings, and you can like have more workers and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. All right, there it goes. Holy cow, that roof is going up quick. Should be done here pretty quick. Yep, there goes the shingles. <clears throat> oh, that looks so good. I kind of wish you could watch them uh, put like the the plaster or, or something on the side to see it like turn white. Well, there's the brewery. That just looks awesome. We'll let's hire it. Uh, let's do this, 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 and that. Okay. Now we just have to wait for one more worker, and then we'll have beer coming in. Oh, that looks so good. This is my little alcohol production area. Beautiful. All right, so this field, let's see, this is sunflower. So this one's going to be potatoes. Yeah, you guys can't really do anything here, can you? At least not yet. All right. They are collecting resources. Burning bricks. So we might have to wait for this batch of bricks to burn, but we should have enough brick. 20 and 20. Okay, so let's... Is there... All right, so there is stuff supply for ox. Okay. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. There we go. There, I don't think they'll actually plant this season, but they will next season. I can't wait to see like multiple row houses right next to each other and see how that looks. And then what I can also do is turn some of these into like the three story ones just to kind of give it a, a unique look. You know what? I was, I didn't even think we were going to get one row house built today, but we're probably going to end up getting two row houses built. Then we have a huge farm over here. Yeah, we needed some food variety. I love this. This is so good. This looks so nice. Still need some brick. I'm just waiting for all the resources to, to get collected. Oh yeah, I'll have, I have plenty of brick. But I don't think I'm going to build these two row houses quite yet. I want some of this other stuff to get built first. Messenger from you. Okay. 
I don't need iron ore. I don't really have anything else I can um, sell. You know, warm clothing would be the thing to do, but I need to wait until I can get some more sheep, which I have a bunch of sheep now. Oh, that looks so good. I love how you can like see the, the plowed soil underneath the, uh, the crops. Looks so nice. Okay. Oh, they are they, they did plant this one. Oh. Okay. They just didn't plow it. Just about gathered all the resources necessary. How's our lime doing down here? Are we actually producing any lime yet? No. Why would we? No wood for mine reinforcement. There is a thousand wood on the way. Family's out of food. How are you out of food? We have food everywhere. Granted, you are kind of far from the market, but... Alright, just waiting on these resources. I want to watch this row house get built. You know what, let's place another well, like, right here. place another wall right here. It'll get built eventually. Alright, 1300 more brick and we have 2500 so we should be fine on brick. And then after that what I need to build is the barber surgery. Because I have a feeling people, more and more people are going to start getting sick. Although, I haven't really had anyone die in quite a while. I've only had four people die in the last ten years, so... Hasn't been too bad, actually. Alright, we're almost having we almost have all the resources gathered. And now we're just waiting. Alright, so that one's sewed, that one's sewed. Uh That explains why that wasn't sewed. <laughs> okay. My dog is playing with a ball right now. Hey, yeah, buddy. Okay. So, all the brick is gathered. We're just waiting on lime, some nail, and 4,400 wood. After that, the row house, the second row house is going to be uh, put up. How many families can live in the, uh, actually, I, if you can do basic math, you can probably guess how many. So these ones can probably hold four families, while these bigger ones can probably hold six families. Two families for each floor. That's my probably logic on it. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I'm guessing. Because I honestly have no idea. I've never built the row house, the three-story row house before. Smaller granary, iron ore mine. 
Oh, that's so nice. That's us. Oh, we need lime. Can't find lime anywhere? I need 49 lime. You guys are filled. Uh... <laughs> Well, that sucks. Um, can you guys, like, actually do lime really quick, please? Alright, so on the plus side, they'll probably get most of it built. Because lime... Yeah, they'll, they'll get about halfway built before they have to wait for more lime to come in. If I have to trade for it, I'll trade for it. Okay, so that is so fun to watch them build this. That looks so good. So this is the first floor, and this one does have a store in it, I believe. I think these three row houses have stores in them, if I remember correctly. Okay, crop field complete. Can't find lime anywhere, yes I know. The lime has to be for, like, the outside of the building, right? Look at the staircase. Imagine moving all your furniture up that staircase, though. I wonder how, like, these buildings are laid out. Because there's two, or, or, like, the houses. Unless two families just live in each floor and it's just shared by everybody. Alright, it's probably going to stop construction here pretty soon. Or maybe not. It'll probably just uh, not f actually finish and paint the siding white or whatever. Ooh, do you have lime? The one time I need lime, and there's no lime. That is just sad. I could always try to uh, send another messenger to, to get lime. I have 1,300, because I don't know... Are you guys actually filling... You are actually gathering limestone. That was less than before. So I think they are gathering it, and I think they're, they've stopped working. Yeah, because we're waiting on more, on more lime now. Oh, that's going to look so good. And I know I didn't snap these together, but even if you snap them, there's still a space in here, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, that's okay. It still looks amazing. Alright, yeah, so we just need lime now, so... Okay, they are filling this up, though. So that is something. They are filling this with lime. Or with limestone, and then this will turn it into quick lime, and then these guys will turn the quick lime into actual lime. So, do I want to wait? Potatoes. So, this needs to be potatoes, fallow, and activate. Okay. You know what I can do though is I want to employ um, the cart shed. Let's employ the cart shed and then just have these guys just do deliveries everywhere. Look at that. We have we have bricks being made already. This is great.
Oh. I love it when kids turn into laborers. It's so it's so handy. I'm hoping we can get the second row house done before uh, this episode ends. I will be right back. I just needed to get a drink. <sighs> okay. So, this is looking amazing. We're just waiting on limestone. I wish you could um, employ, like, just laborers. Like, just have, like, five people work as laborers to do whatever, like, you need to do, like, this kind of stuff. Or like actual hire actual workers to do this. Hmm. I do want to finish the uh, the row house, so let's send someone. It's forty. Let's six. Let's send someone here. That's probably the cheapest option, and then hopefully they have lime. So we should have, what, four families in a store? Because there's... Two families per level, but if this is a two-story house with a, uh, a store, I wonder if it's just going to be four families in a store or three families in a store. I feel like it's probably going to be three families in a store, honestly. I just have a feeling that's probably how it's going to be. Oh, you don't have lime either. Why... They're slowly putting lime in here, but there's so many layers that they have to do still. Um, let's send a person, which is the next cheapest one. That's 95, 40, 80. I'll send someone there. This is all for lime. This is ridiculous. Look at them go. Why'd they stop this harvest? Clothing. I mean, there's not a whole lot of stuff here, but at least there's a little bit. And <laughs> there's just patches of buckwheat in this field. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder if you're going to ever have the ability to go to these towns and just, like, see how they are built. That would actually be really neat. Oh, our town looks so good. What are you? Oh, you're you're just flax. All right, messenger has a, has arrived over here. Come on, lime. Yes, not a whole lot of lime, but I'll take it. It's gonna be a few days before that lime gets here. Watch them actually make lime now. That'd be ridiculous if they actually did. They're not gonna because all the laborers are gonna be working in, in the fields. But that does mean that we should be able to get the row house done um, this episode.
Oh yeah, that actually makes me really happy that I can uh, put bushes in between these. I am going to place fences though. Because I don't like the fact that they can walk through there like that. Alright, how's our lamb coming? It's about halfway there. We're good still. Okay, and let's throw some lilacs here. place a big tree right here. That might look kind of cool. Yeah, so let's place a, uh, could do a big old cottonwood. I don't think it'll let me. No, that's fine. Okay. And then we'll do... That's gonna look good. All right, how's our? All right, our lime should be here. It just got delivered. Okay, so they are gonna finish construction, and bum, boom, perfect. Yeah, so it, it is connected down here, but this isn't connected. So I wonder if they'll eventually fix that or not. Oh, I was wondering what they were completing. They built that so fast. Alrighty. How much uh, brick do we got? 2,400. It's going to be a little bit before we get enough brick for these two. But let's see if my theory was right. Okay, so it was. So it's two um, apartments per floor. Or if there's a store, there's two apartments on one floor, one apartment, and one store on the other floor. Okay, so that makes sense. Still, this is three houses versus two houses in this area, or one house is where it was. So that's still a heck of a lot more population. Oh, that looks so good. How are you guys doing? You're still waiting. Okay. I think that was this, um, this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm waiting for this to actually get picked up. Dang it. Alright, so let's do Dog Rose Bush on this side. off this area here and we're going to fence off this area right here oh that looks good I like that that makes it look a little bit better having uh, bushes and stuff in between those fields like that I'm also going to do the same thing with these houses too so many bushes I planned on not having so many bushes, but it does make it look a lot better. I 
So I haven't actually configured the shop yet. I actually just built this storehouse right here. Um, I'm actually going to configure the shop here pretty, uh, pretty quick. I just haven't done so quite yet. I have actually configured the market to sell stuff for people. There's about 40 items that you can sell in the game, so I just have 10 stalls with 4 items each to make up for it, whether or not I sell all the items. Um, it just makes it easier to lay out stuff. Although, I pre I'm pretty sure I'm selling pretty much everything. Um, the only thing I'm not really selling is like the dairy stuff quite yet, or warm clothing, because I just haven't had enough sheep for to make the warm clothes. Although that should change, because I have a maximum sheep now. Okay. Well, oh, and they're already starting on the third row house. Just waiting on brick. I'm actually making brick fairly quick. So for this store, I'll probably just start from the top. Apricots, beef, beer, beetroot, buckwheat, butter, and cabbage. I'm going to have five uh, row houses with stores in this section here. So I'm going to have three on this side and then two on this side. And then um, once the row houses are built, I'm going to have like a little um, courtyard area. I think it's gonna look good. There's quite a few people with uh, just want more variety of food. A couple of people who are out of coin, but they are making a little bit of money each month. Probably, I mean, they should be making enough money to sustain them. I haven't actually had anyone move out because they didn't have enough money. Okay, so, okay, they're actually, they build these row houses quick, granted these are only the, uh, the two-story ones. Maybe I'll build the three-story row houses on this side. I'm just waiting on more brick here, 4,100 brick, and we have... A thousand being cooked up right now. All right, can I? Nope, you're still. I have to wait for all these resources to get collected before I can place more of these bushes. I guess I could place them in between these houses, but that's just a lot of clicking, and I don't know if I want to do that currently. <laughs> Our town is doing quite well though. I am really enjoying this. I'm just happy that we finally got row houses set up. I've been wanting to do, to do row houses for a while. But I really need to get the brick and everything. Oh, and we actually have beer being fermented now too. Oh, heck yeah. Now I have a use for all the hops I've been growing. All right, so they are making some um, income. Let's see, I do want to tax them a little bit. Um, tavern tax. How much do I want to tax them though? Let's start off with a dollar. I think it's a dollar per month or one per month. Let's do five and see what that does to them. I can always uh, mess with it. Beer, so I should... They should be making quite a bit of money. I think the next building I'm going to be making, besides more row houses, is going to be the barber surgery. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need one here pretty soon, just because there is illness in the game now. Let's 
see illnesses there we go workers in hazardous places can get work-related injuries the injured workers can't work during recovering having a barber surgery in town can drastically reduce the recovery time in spring and autumn there's a risk of flu spreading sick people can spread the disease to their relatives or co-workers chances of recovery depend on general health level you can see the general health level in a citizen's properties panel it depends on food quality living and working conditions diseases buildings and smoke emission okay so thankfully my uh charcoal burners aren't anywhere all right so they are fairly close to these houses here but these guys are still in good health so yeah these guys are in fine health but the smoke is going this way so how are these guys' health all right so they're a little lower but this guy just might be work. He works construction, so if he has a somewhat hazardous job. The tannery, his health is only 50%. I wonder if he's sick. Huh. I don't know. 3,100 brick. All right, so it's going to be a while before I actually get enough brick and stuff for these row houses here. And my... Woodcutters are still cutting trees down in these areas. So now we're just kind of waiting on stuff to get done. I do need to build another forester up in this area. And I need to start laying out more houses so I can lay out these blocks uh, some more. But we have achieved quite a bit this episode. This is So this has been extremely fun. Uh, we did get the brewery built so we do have a bunch of beer uh being made now we have a bunch of heroic i can probably start selling some beer in uh in heroica as well but yep and then we got some row houses set up so everything's looking pretty pretty good now oh sure now there's lime um are you guys actually doing anything over here no you're not I'm going to buy some more lime because I have a feeling I'm going to need more lime. How much are you going to cost? I don't have that much money, so let's buy... I don't want to do that much either, so what if I just do 2000 400 You know what, we'll hold off on lime for now. I do have... Holy cow, two pages. Um... Where's the lime at? Um, I have 581 lime. That should be enough for a while. I just need more money right now. Um, but yeah, we did quite a bit this episode. So I think in the next episode, I want to get the barber surgery built. Um, I want to get some more houses built. Get some more row houses because the row houses look amazing. And then we're going to have to probably build the church in the next episode because at 300 population you need a church to go past that so that's kind of the plan for the next episode but yeah our town's looking absolutely awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i will see you all later